Welcome to this journey. I'm glad you are here. Today I'll be showing you how to create egg and sugar pattern and its inverse form as part of the continuation of our chart pattern series. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And don't forget to turn on notifications. Let's go. Alright, guys, let's get started. So, in an egg and sugar pattern, this is how it looks like. Price goes up like this drops a bit and goes up from me drops to this point goes up from me drops to this point goes like this and then drops this way so let me quickly explain what i just do the no price don't go up at once price goes up and then increases by a certain percentage basically what the price does is to what go up and down so the price goes up from here, drops to this point, goes up from here, drops to this point, goes up from here and then drops. So basically the price is forming uh let me see a series of uh, higher highs and then lower higher what lows also. Those can say that the low here is is a lower, the low here is what higher, the high we have here is lower compared to what you have here. So this high here is higher than what you have here. The low that we had here is lower compared to what we have here. So this low is, is higher than this one. So we have rising lows and then higher highs. But then this uh, this pattern is validated when the next high, which is the what's right shoulder, fails to go above the what's the end. So this is the what's the left shoulder. This is the left shoulder. This is the head. This is the head. And then this is the right shoulder. So, and then this region, this point here, and this point here, they serves as what, as the support. We do call it the neckline, just like a, a human being standing. This is the what left shoulder, and then you know, just around the shoulder we have the neck. So here is the what neck. This is the neck. This is the neck. So the serves as what support. So the price tries what hold above this will support level so this is how to trade it when you, when you notice price going up like this and you see price going up like this you see price going up like this it traces to this point goes up goes up goes up to this point so you are you have already seen a left shoulder at this point you have already seen some you have already seen price higher than the was left shoulder so you can call it the head and then you saw that price reach the the level of the what left Shoulder and then started what reversing, then you can what short the market here since you are since this is automatically telling you that uh, an enter shoulder pattern is about to be formed. So you have see the market reversing, you open the what a short position at this point. Your stop loss could be somewhere around here, your stop loss should be somewhere around here. You put you short the market, here. you put your stop loss here, and then you ride it all the way down from here. And then you know that they, I said in my previous video that the price, when there is a breakout, price do test either the word support or the resistance. And in this case, the price will what the test the word support before going further down. So you can decide to what to show the market here, put your stop loss here, or wait for a test of this word support line, and then put your word stop loss right above this point. You get it. So in an head and shoulder pattern, the price always works break to the what downside that is it for an head and shoulder pattern and then let's quickly see how an inverse head and shoulder pattern looks like for an inverse head and shoulder pattern this is what we do have price issue is usually maybe less the price has been than trading then this inverse head and shoulder pattern signifies a trend reversal in most cases so we have price dropping from here goes up dropped again goes up drops to this point and then goes up drops to this point goes up drops to this point and then goes up so this is an inverse head and shoulder pattern as you can see this resembles like someone and a person being was inverted this is the what the left shoulder here this is the left shoulder here this is the right shoulder here This is the right shoulder here and this is the head. 
So this is the left shoulder, this is the right shoulder, this is the head. Now you notice price coming down trending, coming like this, it traces a bit. So in case of an inverse uh, head and shoulder pattern, you do have what uh, lower what highs. The high that we have here is lower compared. Sorry, we, are, we do have lower highs. Yes, this high here is higher than what we have here. So meaning this high we have here is lower than this. That is the eye is getting what lower. The eye is getting lower, coming down. The high here is higher than this one. This one is lower. The eye is getting lower, and then the the support to is what getting what lower. We get it falling what support. We have a low here, so we are falling lows. This low, this low. So this low is basically lower than this. So what you do is. When you, when you see price coming like this like this you see that the price is being what resisted at this point drops to this point goes off from you and then got rejected at this point so meaning this what resistance it is also the what the neckline and in the case of an uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern this neckline serves as what resistance line unlike in the head and shoulder pattern that the neckline serves as support in the case of Inverse and shoulder pattern, the neckline serves as what resistance. So when you spot this pattern, and you and you could notice that at this point that you have your what left shoulder, the price doesn't go above this point, and then the price went lower, goes up a bit, and then the eyes that we have here was not even more than the left uh, the left shoulder. So then definitely you can what short the market at this point and write it down there or basically you can just what or the best approach is to what is to just buy to open your what long position at the level of your what previous what shoulder left shoulder so you expect that if price should touch the, the the left shoulder the load that we had at in, in the left shoulder the price will what go up from here and as you can see price went up from here we tested this uh, resistance like a name goes up from here so basically you can decide to what basically you can decide to enter the what a long position at this point put your stop loss around here put your stop loss around here enter a long position and then ride the market up to the what breakout of this what resistance line and then you close your position then you can wait for a test of this what neckline which is the what resistance so meaning you'll be entering your second entry will be around here your stop loss will be here, stop loss will be here, stop loss will be here, and then you ride the market up from here. I already also covered the FIB extension too. I can profitably set a good uh, profit uh, target. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please kindly subscribe, like, share, and comment, and turn on notification. Thank you very much.